Hi, John chapter 15, verse 1 through 14. I am the true vine, my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it bears more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch, and it drives up, and they gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit. So prove to my disciples, just as the Father has loved me, I have loved you. Abide in my love. You keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this that they lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I don't know about you, but God loves us so much, and we are to love one another. We, God is, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. We need to abide in his love. We need to do what he, he wants us to do, when he wants us to do it. And putting God first, helping our neighbors, being there for our friends, God is so good. There's nothing like God and doing his will in our lives. We need to put him first in everything we do and say. There's nothing like it. Trusting God. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know God is already there. He's working out his plans for my life. And uh, he always provides. I want you to know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. There isn't much time. He is coming back. It could be right now. It could be a week from now. It could be a year, 10 years. But we need to be ready. We need to put God first in everything we do and say. And God loves you so much that they die for you. I asked you how much Jesus loved me, and he stretched out his arms and died for you. And in two weeks, we're going to be celebrating his resurrection from the dead. And it's going to be awesome to do that with our friends and family. Easter is the best day of the year. It's, it was the reason why he was born on Christmas Day. So he could die for us. So we have a restored relationship with him. Come to Jesus Christ today before it's too late. And if you need to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM-TODAY. And they will help lead you to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you so much.